Hello friends, it's Ash. Welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. I didn't have any videos planned, which is very abnormal for me. I usually like pre-film a bunch of videos and then by the time they're all scheduled to upload, I have videos planned again. I had a whole system going for the past like what, three years that I've been doing YouTube and recently I just have been falling behind. I've tried vlogging like five times this week and just nothing came of it. So let's hope that this video works out because it's been a very long time since I've been able to just like sit down, have like a little chill chit chat type of video. I'm actually gonna be doing a Q&A today, so I thought it'd be fun to like sit down and update you guys on how my life is going because there's a lot to say. If you're new here, be sure to hit subscribe somewhere down below. Give this video a like, follow me on all my social medias and check out my music. They're all linked in the description down below. You know the drill. So without further ado, Let's get into it. So I asked people on my Instagram story um, to give me some questions that I can answer. I'm just gonna be going through them in the order that I see them. So yeah, let's do that. So the first question is, how is remote fall quarter going? Um, I'd say it's going pretty well. Like, okay. I've actually had this like internal struggle with myself. So this quarter I'm taking more like gen ed courses than major related courses i think i only have two classes that are actually related to my major and those two classes i love so much they're like so interesting my professors are awesome and then my gen ed courses like my professors are good some of them my gen ed courses like my professors are good and everything but like i just don't like the material that we're learning like i don't find it interesting and because everything is online it's a lot easier to like not feel as engaged with the class so i've been kind of concerned with how little i care about retaining information rather than just retaining the information enough to pass the test which is not a good mindset and i'm going to be completely honest like i have been struggling a lot with that but you know, at the very least, I, at least I care about the courses that are related to like what I actually want to do. Like I'm taking a marketing class for the music industry right now and I love that class so much because I'm actually applying the information I learn to what I'm doing with music and like my, my job and everything like that. But that's basically how fall quarter is going for me. It's all remote again, so you know, you do what you gotta do. A lot of these are about college by the way, so. The next question is, how involved are you now that things are online? I consider myself pretty involved. Like I'm really involved in my sorority and I actually over the summer got involved with the university concert board here, which is what I've been planning to do for a while. It just never happened. But over the summer I joined the board that like makes all of the big productions, like shows and stuff, obviously everything's online right now and we're hosting like live stream concerts but i spent like four months planning with a whole team of people all of these live stream events with big name artists or not not big name but like people know them i don't know i think recently with like classes starting it's a lot harder to get involved and to attend all of the meetings because also keep in mind i don't just do college i have like other jobs and like internship kind of things so i don't know i'm like still trying to still trying to balance everything and also on top of that like i'm trying to record music again so i just have a lot going on and my life is always super busy yeah i don't know i would say i'm still pretty involved considering that everything is remote the next question is do you have any tips for getting involved on campus while everything is remote honestly i would say just if something interests you in the slightest just attend a zoom meeting like why not you never know what you might like and if you just like go to every meeting that interests you you can narrow it down from there you can see like what you really enjoy doing what you can do without i feel like that was really bad advice and that didn't make any sense at all but uh i hope it did somehow the next question i got was how was online recruitment if I'm being honest, like I don't really have much to compare it to in terms of like doing it from the sorority side because like yeah I went through in person last year but that was me trying to like get into a chapter but now that I'm already in one I don't really have like a point of comparison between in person and virtual because my first time was virtual but I will say I'm very glad that I didn't have to do that in heels because I was already pretty tired and I was just sitting like 
right here my laptop was propped up on my pillows and i was still pretty pretty worn out i don't know overall i i actually did really enjoy going through it and we got some amazing new members they're all super cool and yeah i don't know i'm excited to get to know them the next question i got is what are my job slash internships that i talk about i've mentioned them a couple of times i believe i do three things that i consider like a job slash internship that's outside of school so the first job that i have is with a record label called elton audio records and i have been working with them since i was a junior in high school so at this point it's almost been three years and basically i started out as a news intern with them and i'm still a news intern like i write articles for their news page and they upload it to apple news as well which is super dope that my articles are up there um, and you can feel free to check them out if you want i write articles about a lot of things pertaining to the music industry and he's been recently transitioning me into being like a marketing intern as well because marketing is what i really want to do with my future career and actually yesterday i had a meeting with my boss and one of the artists that he signed because he's releasing some new project and i helped like listen to the records figure out the order that they would go in on the project and i was like this is dope. But yeah, I really, really love that job and I'm hoping to continue with that for as long as possible. My next internship, it's not paid. It's actually with a nonprofit organization. Their aim is to like support women in the music industry and further our role because there is like some institutionalized sexism in the industry and we're kind of like working towards empowering women and you know giving them opportunities to use their voice for all of that so that's super dope i got involved with them over the summer and they recently promoted me to executive director so it's starting to become a lot more of a prominent role in my life and i'm really really excited for that i started out as a social media intern so i was designing all the instagram posts playing around with branding uploading things all of that but now we're doing like zoom events and everything and i'm basically in charge of planning all of those so yeah that's what i'm doing with that and then the last job i have is with university tees i'm a campus manager and basically what i do is i speak to like different representatives of organizations like you know greek life uh student clubs even like local businesses and high schools we can do that and basically just make like custom merchandise for them. Like this past recruitment season, I actually helped make some sweatshirts for a sorority on campus. So yeah, things like that. I feel like I never really explained that. I kind of just briefly mentioned it. So it's good to like get it all out in the open now. The next question I got on here is, what is my favorite class and my least favorite class this quarter? Okay, so I mentioned this before, but my favorite class is my marketing and promo in the music industry class. My professor is super dope. He's really like experienced in the industry and he knows what he's talking about. And I don't know, he just makes class interesting. And the content we're learning is interesting. Like we're learning how to make a press release. We're making an electronic press kit, things like that. Just like making a marketing plan for music, which is basically what I want to do. And I'm really learning a lot from that class. And then my least favorite class is business law because it is a four hour lecture from 6 to 10 p.m. on Wednesday nights, and no one wants to be in class for that long, let alone at night, but you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> the next question I got on here is, how do you stay organized with all the things you do? Bullet journaling. Bullet journaling and planners and like writing things down, but like I have my two notebooks, like physical notebooks, and then I have my like my calendar app on my phone. I keep my schedule everywhere. I even have like a paper calendar on my wall and a whiteboard calendar out in the hallway. So I just like, I keep track of things all the time. I'm a very type A person like that. With everything I'm involved in, it's super helpful to like write things down for me. And also bullet journaling is super therapeutic as well. And then the last question I got is was there anything that you didn't expect when you moved back to campus? This is a kind of loaded question because like, yes, there's a lot that I didn't expect. And I was actually talking with my friend Emma about this. I hope she's okay with me exposing her like this, but we were both thinking how like, we kind of hyped up moving back to school in our heads to the point where what actually happened fell short of those expectations. And that's totally on us because I really didn't expect when I moved back here, how 
different things would be from freshman year. And it's not like I came back with the expectation that it would be exactly the same because obviously we're still in a pandemic. You know, there's not gonna be in-person events. There's not as many people on campus either, but I don't know. I figured I would be hanging out with my freshman year friends a lot more than I am, but I will say though, I definitely do not regret coming back to campus. Like I think it was a really great decision for me to be independent and also just to be in a good environment for me to work because I feel like if I was at home, I would be a lot less motivated. There are times where I feel like what am I doing? You know, like I feel like there's no purpose to everything because I literally just wake up to sit in front of a computer screen for eight hours basically. But I know that if I was at home, I would just, I'd be in bed all day. I would wake up at 11, not get out of bed until one. But here at least I have like a routine. I'm up early. It's currently it's only 11.30 in the morning right now. I've been up since seven and that's like natural for me. And that just wouldn't happen if I was at home, but I do miss home. I do miss home. I miss my family and my dogs and not having to worry about cooking for myself. So with all of that being said, that is the end of this Q&A. Thank you to everyone that sent in questions. Let me know if you have any more video ideas for me because I'm running out. If you made it to this point in the video, you're a very good human and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching guys, bye.